I'd like to say, even if you don't believe in climate change, climate's changing. Teachable moments most happen when kids take what they're learning and they can almost immediately apply it to their own lives. Come on in, guys. It doesn't matter how big your school is. Kids with a passion can do anything. Climate change is causing increases in the frequency. So Envirothon is the largest environmental competition in the world. We're presented with a current issue that we make a problem scenario to compete at the regional and then state level. We've won main state Envirothons. It's actually 12 out of the last 15 years. Rob Taylor has, a, has his own dynasty. 100 years story. We met with the Governor's Office of Policy, Innovation and the Future. I'm preparing the kids to go attend the International Envirothon and, and compete with other teams from around the world. We are talking about literally like armored ditches, things like these, and then all of a sudden... The storm hits. It happened on my birthday. We've got at least a half a foot of rain in a matter of hours. This woman comes in and she's like, the streets are washing out. The volume of water was amazing. I looked out and there's firefighters in the road flashing lights. People then posting, roads were gone. People's lawns were covered in water. Seven or eight major roads in our town were just wiped out. Every Department of Transportation across the country that I know considers climate risks to be one of their biggest threats to their infrastructure system. Drive by the areas that were affected and you see what the effects of our changing climate is. Having a storm like this affect us on a personal level really like opens your eyes. Like this is happening and these are things that you can do to help this. These are things that are gonna be done to help this. And it's a risk to all communities. Every community we have, climate change is going to be a reality and we're gonna see its effects. They're saying that they did close to eight million dollars in damage. What does keep me up at night are these rain events where we could lose a culvert. Someone doesn't understand that there's water in the road. They try to drive over it and there's nothing there. There's a closed road sign and people were going down there anyways. I think we have to shift our emphasis to what are the solutions? Climate change is a two-pronged approach. You need to have mitigation and adaptation or resilience. I think their voices matter. They need to understand that people like myself do listen to them. So why don't you grab your stuff? We eventually are going to be the ones making decisions and making solutions or solving problems in our world. When people take action, we can make a difference. Um, and I think kids are, are seeing that. You know, I think they'll remember this experience the rest of their lives and take it with them and do better things because of it.